Thank you for clicking on the video. What is up gamers back at it again with the Binding of Isaac. We got a cool character today. Their name is Jello or Gello. I never really figured out how I'm supposed to pronounce it to be honest, but I'm going to say Jello. They're a small character, approximately 35% smaller with a tears multiplier, but a damage multiplier down. One red heart, one soul heart, and an interesting mechanic to boot. First of all, what's in our first treasure room? My reflection. This item got such a glow up, dude. I'm always happy to find it now. So what's interesting with this character is for the first two floors they actually take double damage. So if I take just a random hit from anyone I'm actually gonna take a full heart and a champion is gonna deal two hearts of damage. But as we move along we may be able to evolve ourselves. Evolving will make us change our damage multiplier with our tier multiplier. So you know how our tiers are super high right now, but my damage is kind of meh. If we evolve, our damage will be good, but our tiers will go down. But I'm sure there's that, you know, actually a point to evolving. I'm sure the DPS actually goes up. So, you know, what else would be the point of evolving? And to evolve, all you got to do is find a certain amount of familiars. Do I know the amount? Not really. But we're here to figure it out. We got our first boss. It's just Duke of Flies. This guy is so damn easy, dude. All you got to do is keep the guys that he's spawning alive and eventually he'll hit a max limit of flies and he just won't be able to do anything anymore and then look at this he's gonna stop he's just gonna float around because he's a bozo <laughs> cool unfortunately i'm in a horde of death right now but we got out for free we're rewarded with a speed up which is pretty cool i don't have a key for downpour but i don't think i would even want to go i want to go basement to then downpour that way i can avoid the double damage because that seems pretty scary Burning basement next. I can't really go to that curse room. I mean, I'd lose both my soul hearts for that. And uh, I don't know how I feel about that kind of risk. But instead, I'll fight Envy. And I get nothing for the last 30 seconds of work. A certified Envy moment for real for real. With the double damage in play, I don't know if I want to go Devils, but I have to remember that it won't apply for the next floor, actually. And maybe my goal is more along the lines of just find familiars as soon as possible. So you know what? If I get like one more heart, I might just enter the Devil. I won't commit, you know, if it's kind of ass, but you know, maybe I'll get something good. I have no idea why this burning basement is a country size long and also where is the treasure room? Some questions will never have answers. Who? What? <laughs> what the hell? Who would have predicted that this map would reconnect with itself? What is this burning basement map? And then it diverts to a different direction? Ah, these plot twists are crazy, dude. I can't handle this season of Binding of Isaac. Pill! Health up, that's beautiful. Could have been a health down because I did have one red heart. We'll keep that in mind. I have a perthro as well. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go straight up to the devil. I have no bombs. Just kidding, keys. Wow. That's it. I can't believe it. I really have absolutely no way whatsoever to get in that treasure room. I can't believe the game bowed me that hard. I'm just messing with you guys, don't worry. Game must have thought that was a good joke. <laughs> I cannot believe I got a cricket's head there. <laughs> what? Absurdo lucky activity by me. Now I actually have damage that feels like damage. Another soul heart, a fire rate up from consolation prize, and a key to complete the joke. And, <laughs> and brimstone! Why is there brimstone? Do I want bloody lust as well? I would get down to one heart. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want to take that risk. I was thinking Bloody Lust into Brimstone play, but even then, you know, I'm kind of nervous. Should I go Downpour now? Absolutely. I don't know what this start is, but we're not gonna- yeah, whatever, who cares. Did that just say I evolved? What happened to- I'm- I'm- I'm God! I'm walking on water, hello? <laughs> What, I, uh, what's going on? Oh man, oh, oh god. It said I evolved, I think. No? Or maybe they just evolved? Wait a second, what? The Steam Workshop page says grabbing a certain amount of familiars, it will make you evolve. Uh, I, maybe it's just, you know, you evolve when you go enough floors because you're just epic like that. Who goddamn knows? Let me in this treasure room again. I feel like I want Tech Zero. It's technically not good. You know what I mean? But like, uh, I could get synergies and it could start working. Better than a monster manual at least. Then again, I don't have an active so you can make an argument for that. I wouldn't blame you. Ooh, already the boss? How about I get the free, very obvious super secret room and I come back with maybe some hearts? Just because we did straight up commit to brimstone devil rooms and uh, now I'm gonna need hearts whenever I find a deal. Oh wait, I am different. I evolved. I did evolve. Look at me, my spread's different. Maybe it really is just floor based actually. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Cool. I do feel a little bit larger. 
Also, I'm still skidding around as if I'm Jesus. What you do if this demon slowly floats up towards you? I mean, it's basically over, man. You might as well give up. <laughs> Perfection? Ooh, I'm playing well. I wonder why. Experimental, I will take. I got an HP up. We can fill it, and that will actually be the difference maker in the reason I'm gonna go in here. And then actually just take we need to go deeper because it's just a strong item overall. Jello and Tainted Jello do not start with any form of active item, so I'll take it. Crawl Space gives me this guy. This guy will turn into this guy. Uh, ew. Uh, whatever. You know the pause glitch where you blow up a restock machine and for some reason the restock machine double rolls it so you pause so you can check one of the rolls. I didn't do it there. Something to note that I, I didn't really mention is that on the beta version of Isaac right now for the online version, which I still play occasionally, so if you guys ever see me, make sure to say hi, especially now that there's chat, that would be so cool. Uh, in that version, I might be crazy, but I feel like I've blown up a restock machine in the beta version of Isaac, and it's only done a single roll. Like, it doesn't do the bug anymore. You can't abuse it. Not like you'd be able to abuse it anyway, because you can't save quit in online, but you know, I also tested it in single player, and it does the same thing. Maybe I'm crazy, uh, but as far as I know, it looks like they fixed it. Like, that's not gonna be a bug anymore that you can abuse, which is good honestly it really shouldn't exist and it never should have and it always feels kind of weird to try and use it i never feel bad about using it it just feels you know weird wormwood fight again i still have not been hit and even if i get tagged here it's only mantle so it wouldn't matter haha <laughs> you can't hit me <laughs> Uh, get out of here, Wormwood. Final item, Dazlos Coin. A range up is pretty useless, but eh, it could happen. Luck up does matter, though. Do they start with absurdly low luck? Because I have perfection, I have 9 luck. I just got a luck up. And I feel like I got a luck up earlier as well. What, like negative 3? First Binding of Isaac character to be less lucky than the Keeper. You know, this is probably not worth it, but I feel like it is. I was wrong. Money for here. Money is not going anywhere near that shop. Your prices suck and your items are ass. So I definitely did evolve because that is not the same sprite that I complimented a little bit ago. Looking more silver-ish, pretty cool. Uh, no evolve this time? Okay, no evolve this time. I don't even know how I initially evolved. Maybe that wasn't supposed to happen, but I'm just gonna roll with it. I don't really care, I'm having a grand time. I mean, I feel like it's kind of hard for anyone to not have a grand time playing the Binding of Isaac when they get Cricket's Head Brimstone first floor, or second floor, or whatever. It was early, okay? <laughs> That's all that matters. Magic Mushroom wouldn't even matter here. Here, but that's okay uh, because I'm still gonna farm for it because it's not about the fact that it does something for me It's about the fact that I get happy when it happens when I'm farming for magic mushroom I'm not farming for the magic mushroom because it's gonna save my run I'm farming it because I want to see Isaac dance the music play and I get excited So I will continue to blow stuff up for no reason Boom. Hushy, you are totally getting buffed, I'm certain of it. You gotta remember as well, we have the online beta, but we don't have access to any item changes. But that item list that Edmund requested a long time ago of all the most unpopular items, it still exists. He responded to it, the multiple different versions of those lists. Item changes will be coming, and it's gonna keep things very fresh. It's gonna be sick. Waiting day by day for that one. This room never made sense to me. <laughs> Why would you ever shoot these guys after you press the button? Just just hit them first and then hit the button. Sacrificial rune. I don't exactly have the hearts to do that. I no longer have the whole double damage thing. But even then, I like doing sac runes with at least 7 hearts for the major payout. And I don't have that ability right now. I can't believe I didn't get hit. I might have been maybe like pixels away from my perfect hitbox. I mean, for clarification, I 100% think I should have gotten hit there. <laughs> Least obvious super secret room. It was so obvious that it actually made me get hit because I was like, there's no way that this wouldn't be it. I'd be flabbergasted. I hyper-focused on the wall so much that I forgot enemies existed. But at least I was right, you know, it's there, yeah, I got it. Congratulations to me. <laughs> a wretched I. This should be an easy fight. Basically Widow, but harder. Except, honestly, this version is arguably easier just for, like, when they show up. Soul Heart Divorce Papers, you know what I mean? Like, when Widow shows up, Widow's like, oh, you have one item. But when Wretched shows up, you got, you got some stuff, you'll be okay. Ah, I did evolve again. Hello, MTR also gave me some empty hearts because that's what that item does. What? What? I? Oh, people listen to me talk? What? <laughs> 
I'm still moonwalking like crazy, but that's okay. I just know that I'm powerful at the very least. I've evolved to the last stage. I'm just going to attribute evolving no longer to familiars, but just to how much progress you've made in the game, which would also make sense. Because early on in the game, oh, like market, hello. Early on in the game, you're tiny, you're small, you take double damage. As you go along, you get bigger and bigger and stronger. That makes sense. I'll take that. That being said, though, whoop, gimme you. Did I have red hair? It looked like I had red hair for like a, a half a second. I do! Oh, I'm like a full-on demon, that's sick. You think the spider mod counts as a familiar for this transformation evolve thing that I don't even know how it's working? Yeah, sure, why not? Humbling bundle is actually probably the best thing there, but I don't care about pickups too much. We're on depth one, we only have two more shops to go. And I'm getting double pickups anyway for some reason. My bombs, my keys have been completely fine. I have not found a use for this per throw just yet though, so I might try and roll something. We can go in curse rooms now without any extra extra risk. No more double damage means I want to take the risk. Uh, that made me feel like I should never take any risk ever again though. Gambling is bad ladies and gentlemen. I can officially say it is not worth it to gamble. I hope to improve as a human. I hope to not make the same mistakes over and over again and I hope to only make informed decisions about what I'm going to do. Oh my god two golden chests I have to. Guys it wasn't worth it. <laughs> How could I have ever seen this coming? You are so annoying, I hope you know that. <laughs> Big man treasure room coming through with the rosary, which is great. I could use some tears up, works with my charge bar. The soul hearts are obviously needed, and the one downside of you might find a Bible somewhere is like, eh, yeah, it's okay. If anything, I hope it shows up in the shop so it shows up early on. And I'm sorry, did I walk in the boss fight and not register it? No, 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 I got cursed the maze. Oh, wow. That was really random. What? <laughs> I, I thought I was going crazy. He drops another brimstone. That's not even possible. But hey, pentagram is great. And in here, I have the occult. I have brimstone. This will complete Leviathan. Everything is working out for me. I can't believe how good this run is. Brimstone, Eye of the Occult, you are completely dead. Every enemy in the Binding of Isaac falls beneath me. I saw a comment once saying, Hey Matt, do you have so much Isaac brain rot that when you see something even slightly correlated to Isaac, or it could be misconstrued as Isaac for like half a second, you just go full on, oh my god, it's the Binding of Isaac. And I want you guys to know 100% that's where I am mentally. I finally finished Mario RPG. And if you've never played that game before, uh, there's this one area that's straight up called Monstro Town. And believe me, I promise you, the first thing I thought of is, oh my god, Binding of Isaac reference. <laughs> I'll see like a chest in a movie, like we're, we're watching, and someone will climb into it and you're, you'd be insane if you thought that the only thing I was thinking about was the movie in that instance. At that point, my brain is gone. It's full on Isaac mode. I want to open up the game. <laughs> I can finally receive the nickel that was annoying me. Is it really worth getting that final scent though? Eh, nah. We can double check secret. You know what? Here's an actually interesting thing. I might as well showcase this off. A small piece of knowledge most people may have. But hey, you never know. You can check for secret rooms if you do this. And uh, since a trap door spawned here, this actually cannot be the secret room. If you spawn a trap door right on the secret room tile, because there can never be a tile blocking a secret room, it defaults to somewhere else. And you can use we need to go deeper kind of effectively in looking for secret rooms like that. Anyway, tutorial mode off. It's time to game. Yippee. Did I evolve again again? Like I'm I'm fully grown? I, I see no reason why I should have gotten a transformation. I feel like I just evolved somehow. That's pretty cool. I definitely feel larger and my damage is definitely large. Oh my god, I just took a peep at my left side of the screen. What am I rocking right now? 16 base with brimstone? That's unironically a little bit nutty, I think. I kind of like the idea of having a character kind of hard early on. And as you progress, it becomes far easier. Maybe it's the fact that I have brimstone stone that's kind of affecting my decision making here uh but you know i'm having a grand time actually this is a really sick character may as well pop up in that crawl space walking here blood bombs this means i no longer have any use for bombs whatsoever i'm never gonna run out and you know what we can use that we need to go deeper strat right here to check and you can see that that can't be the secret room so i bet you it's actually right here Oh my god, I've never been so wrong. Crane Ganium. Uh, not today. We have a we need to go deeper and a you. Oh my god, it's go ahead, please. Just one try it. Oh, that would have been sick. See, I like that at least. You know, the devil beggar immediately showed me what it was. And now I know that I want to commit. So I will be here for the next 30 minutes. Because who just gets shown goat head and doesn't go full on for it? You'd have to be crazy to do that. 
Well, that was just sad. I, I feel bad. I could have helped in that situation, but I was too concerned with my own self-being. And uh, I let that guy down. He's gone forever. I feel I feel terrible. <laughs> Mainly because that goat head is gone, to be honest with you. But, you know, also the guy. I miss him as well. Oh, check it. Check it. Hold on. Check this out. Guaranteed. Oh, my lord. There you go. There's a demonstration of it. So the tile didn't spawn here. Spawn. <laughs> So it's not didn't spawn here, so it has to be here. We get Isaac's tomb. I found the Perthro of my dreams. Isaac's tomb is so fun, but I feel like it should be better, man. Whenever I use it, it just doesn't give me any angel items. Of, of course, it's super rare to do that, but I don't know. I wish it was a little better because I, I think this item's so fun. I'm going to roll it into Cursed Eye and take it because lol. I don't even want to take the pageant boy in the boss challenge room. <laughs> Yay, seven cents. <laughs> Treasure though. Oh my god. God, that is an item. What is this run? Hello? Everything I've ever wanted, Birthright actually works with this character and I can't believe I landed it. We actually have every item ever, man. Uh, Mom's purse is great. The Birthright actually lets you evolve again. Like it's just an on-command evolve. I don't know if I'm at maximum evolve here. So I don't know if this would do anything. The next step of evolution. I mean, it looked like it worked. It looked like I got a tiny tears down and a massive damage up. So hey, I certainly will be taking that I could just skip it all. <laughs> I almost said skibbity toilet and I almost just died in real life. Except I don't really care. I don't have skibbity toilet in my recommended, obviously, because I'm not eight. But for anyone who does have skibbity toilet in their recommended, congratulations to you. You are currently living the best years of your life. And I am not kidding. Anyone who gives you crap for watching that stuff, okay? You, I, you must be young, okay? I will admit. But like, cherish it. Because you're just doing what people did before you. I promise you. They'll be like, oh. Oh, wow, it's so cringe. No, it's not, dude. We all watched weird SFM, like, funny montage, like, meme stuff. Are you kidding me? You guys remember Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life? You don't think that was weird? It, it's totally weird if you think about it now, but we watched it. Oh, dude, that sprite looks awesome. So live your bliss, guys. Enjoy what you enjoy, because I promise you, no one gives a crap. Just enjoy what you want, man. Uh, this seems like a bit of a demon character, so I'm gonna go negative, absolutely. And then we go. I've never been so satisfied in my life. What was that wave clear? Every brimstone is hitting perfectly. It's probably because of the parasite. I just have so many extra brims to work with. Another cross space. This one leading to just coins and a chest. One of the more disappointing ones, but ah, it's okay. Saw a library earlier right here. Maybe we can give ourselves a bookworm? Oh, absolutely. Here's that Bible that was kind of confirmed to show up eventually due to rosary, but it showed up anyway because it's a library. So uh, yeah, just perfect scenarios all around. And uh, I should actually take Lamegaton with me as well because it's an incredibly good item. And it just gave me the wafer as well. Whoa, almost got hit there. <laughs> That spike rock mix-up was crazy. It's so hard to block, dude. You guys have seen it. You play online and you guys are moseying through rooms, blasting through real quick. Spike room happens and like three people walk into it. Only one person has the reactions to survive. Spike rooms are crazy, man. Don't underestimate them. Oh, hey, I don't think this does anything, but sure. Scarved Womb 1 boss is just Blastasis. I thought that was Blastasis. I got baited. It's actually the bigger dude, but it doesn't matter because they're all dead. Devil? No, but that just means a guarantee on the next floor. So let's go get that. Arcade, no crane game. Oh my god, there actually is. I don't even care if it's Pokego. It's about the principle. I gotta win. I can't believe it. Lamegaton did give me battery earlier, which we can abuse. I'm not forced to use Lamegaton anymore whenever it's at six charges. Maybe I can find a secret room early. There you go. And I will use it in here instead. Maybe get secret room items. Lamegaton with a 25% chance to give you an item that is in the pool of special rooms that you're in. It didn't proc there, but oh well. I can't tell you how satisfying this brimstone is to play with. Every single time, everything dies. And it like works out perfectly. It's crazy good. King baby. Wow, even that. I like never fully one shot that room. Huh? What am I looking at? Super duper rare room, but I got flight today. So that's sick. Restock gaming maybe? Larynx, leprosy. Eh, that's okay. Uh, I believe Compound Fracture does not work with the Brim. Only Cricket's body for splitting shots, but Choco Milk is definitely a take. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I get plus two silliness for having Obsessed Fan? Well, I gotta take it at that point. So admittedly, my Brimstone is gonna be a lot slower now, but when it does eventually pop off, boom, everything will be dying. 
Super secret right here, not too useful. Press spacebar, speed, ball, that's okay. I think we one-shot it lives and live our bliss because the game just decided to give us an absolute god run for today. I, I don't know why I have a god run, but I'm, I'm keeping it, man. <laughs> It's incredible what I'm playing. Sulfur, I could get double brim. Is that more funny? I don't think so, but I'll do it just to do it. Just like in this room for fun. Boom, oh my God, it's so huge. I actually kind of want to keep it. That is humongous brimstone. I just blew myself up. But Lamegaton would do more for us. So with that, I'll read my book downstairs. Curse of the Blind, I'm happy you gave me blind on this floor and uh, not on the upcoming dark room. Hopefully you don't double down. You never want to double down unless it's an ice cream sundae, in which case you always double down. Nine times out of 10, I would not go to this curse room for the exact reason that there's just nothing here. But I have wafer due to Lamegaton just popping off so I'll, I'll just go wherever I want, honestly. No risk, baby. I'll get hit by anything. I don't care. This ain't no Eden streak. This ain't no tainted loss. We clown in my Isaac run. Oh my god, it's like one frame happens and everything is dead. It's kind of brutal, actually. I will definitely pay you out. I don't care. I actually have a guaranteed payout here. Six charges for a demon beggar, sometimes seven. Looks like it's six. We got it. It's euthanasia. I'm so happy. A random Lamegaton wafer effectively just gave me euthanasia. Sometimes things are just so incredibly perfect. There's the boss. Whoa, check the brimstone eye. Despite how powerful I am, that guy can still hit me because that guy's broken. I get secret room over here. I'll use the holy card for sure. But the main reason I'm here is because I just want to press space bar and get magic eight ball, which is eh, that's okay. One, two, three, and I pressed three. I pressed it on three. I think I was so confused about my brimstone. I was multitasking. I was thinking to myself, I have to press the shoot key really early so I can charge up my Choco. Uh, I just kind of failed the multitask. I actually failed an IRL quick time event. It was crazy. What a weird feeling, but that's okay. Satan's still done. Let's go to the dark room and get broken real quick. Now we can't expect brimstone, but we can still expect like, I don't know, twisted pear, mom's knife. Contract from below, that's not bad. Dark matter, also not bad. What, what? Oh my God, it made its grand return. <laughs> Everything is perfect about the, I don't understand. Nor am I complaining, I suppose. It's just weird, thank you. Okay, well, yeah, that was kind of a checkmate situation for me. That was a little bit of an actual GG scenario. And as you can see, finally, Tech Zero actually ended up paying off. I cannot believe it. It works with euthanasia. We are living in the best timeline, ladies and gentlemen. Fortnite Isaac is real. If you didn't know, that's just like the thing that's gonna happen, I promise you. I'm not, this is not official confirmation, by the way. Don't, don't yell at me if I was wrong. It just seems like it would happen. If you don't know how I have the occult Chaco Brimstone works, it actually matters how far away you are if you're pushing it as far as away as possible you get the full charge but if you only send it right in front of you you'll get a small charge so use that to your own advantage sometimes i'll do a far charge to get a big brim or sometimes it doesn't matter i'll just do something like this <laughs> mainly that one though oh my god golden crystal key have you guys seen anything more beautiful what an awesome golden trinket to find steam cell as well we might go crazy with red rooms right now 50 percent chance i think that said in order to get a red room insanely good odds i think the likelihood of what the hell the boss is right here i don't even need you yet bro go away insanely likely that we'll get some crystal key procs unfortunately while i'm saying this it's not happening you are letting me down but i'm sure it's about to happen so don't worry Oh, this is one of those rooms that you just love to see when you have wave clearing damage. That was so oh, good, dude. Lard, we don't need it, but I feel bad for not taking every item on this floor. Just because we're so completely broken, I feel like I might as well. And I'll, I'll say it, golden crystal key, it's letting me down right now. <laughs> and uh, it feels like it doesn't exist. It was never here this entire time. It was entirely just a bait by the game. Never mind. here we go. Wow, nothing. But double pill with a double full health? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, hold on, one final. Nice. Well, in total, we got two red rooms. Let's go, dude, I'm a beast. <laughs> one final, we got dad's ring actually from the secret pool. And uh, that was probably one of the best runs I've had in stupid long. Like that was so easy. Are you kidding me? I went from playing like the hardest character ever, humiliated Isaac to whatever the hell this is. Just getting Brimstone Cricket's head and having an, an evolving beautiful time. That was sick. No delirium, no mega Satan. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And uh, GG's.